Hello, welcome to my day 11 my math vlogs. Woo! So today we had a quiz, and in this quiz it was very difficult. In fact, I got three mistakes to get a good score. <laughs> Yay me! So eventually I got 68, and only two people got a good score, and guess who that is? So today, after the said quiz, we redid the quiz. You know, it's review for the unit test, the impending doom of Friday. And with this, we also had to have series of, I don't know, series, fortunate events. Everything that went down today. First off, what we did was we answered everything. And guess what? I was so close to the answer, but at the same time I wasn't. It was Clara's mistakes, really. First of all, I didn't get the, the segment. It's always a segment, one line. But I accidentally only got half of it and I forgot to multiply it by 2. Thus, I got the wrong answer, or half of the right answer. Eh, glass half empty, glass half full. How you see it. So, afterwards, I also failed a portion of, well not really a portion, I failed half of the quiz, with careless mistakes of knowing things. What I learned today, from last vlog, was that I always have to know the basics. I have to know the information before I can actually tackle everything. And that's what I did in Tutor Today. What I did was I went all, I went through all my past quizzes and my past homeworks and I redid them, including the ones I failed in, which is all of them. And from there, I rediscussed, I relearned all the statements and all the proofs so that I can be prepared for the next day. Secondly, I learned how to understand my problems and to tackle them. This way, I won't be going around in circles and be like, where's this? Where's that? Why am I suffering? And from there, I can say that I know how to do things. And thirdly, finally, I can say that I need to know how to practice. I need to know how to get one mistake and not to make it into the next one. This way, I can learn from things and that way, I won't have to have this learning stepping stool when it's an actual really big test. Thus, the unit test. Horror, horror, horror. So, from there, I've been very pessimistic. What went well? Hmm. Well, from my pessimistic face, you can say that there not much went well. But then, I have to look on the optimist side. I have to be optimistic for me to see the good things and all the bad stuff. If there's a dark cloud, you have to find the one patch of blue sky and that will lighten your day. So, what do we do? Well, first off, I wanted to know that I was able to participate. I was able to understand what was given to me. And that's all that matters. But the fact that afterwards I've done everything, I can say that I understand it even after I failed. Because at least I understand after a failure rather than understanding what happens way in the future when it's too late. That way I can learn from my mistakes, bounce back up and say, I can do this. I can bounce with manly grace and I can tell that I manly bouncefully succeeded. So finally, how can I bring this home? How can I tell myself to show a determination that the next day I can actually pass? And well, this is because for once, I need to try. I need to sit back down, buckle myself up in this chair that can be two things. Number one, it can be an electrocution chair. It can be something that can bring me to my death. Or it could be like a ride. Something I just sit back, do my work, focus, and not be intimidated by its speed, but rather elevate myself. Tell myself, you can do this. You can go through this. And in the end of the ride, or the end of the day, I can say, that was fun. Thank you for watching this vlog. And I'm sorry that it's been all over the place, as usual. But hopefully, you can watch the rest. Thank you for watching. This video has been sponsored by Mindshine. Some milk tea that will never fail you.